So today we're going to go to the Sea Ray factory. So let's go. Okay, so we have flown all the way over to, to Florida in the United States to come and see the Sea Ray factory and more specifically the Sea Ray 370, which is the new Sundancer from Sea Ray. And we're going to see boat number one, which has got the twin V8 inboards. You've seen them online with the outboards, we're seeing the inboards. And behind me, you can see the new 400 SLX, which has got inboards and outboards too. Now, we're going to do um, a quick tour of the boat and in, in that tour we'll also show you some of the building uh, details that goes on behind the scenes of Sea Ray, which is very, very, very high quality. And we're also going to go out on one of these, which is the Sea Ray, new Sea Ray 370 Sundancer. So, I think what we should do is go and jump on the boat and go and have a look. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed about Florida is it's hot. Now it's February and it's 30 degrees. That's why I'm wearing shorts. I've got my trainers on, which all the Sea Ray workers have commented on and they said they're very cool. I'm not cool, but the trainers are very cool. Uh, and it's lovely, lovely weather. And I think in England at the moment it's four degrees or five degrees. So we're really spot. We're here for a few days. So we're having a good look around all these factories and boats. So this is the new 370. Sundancer and it's the first boat, it's boat number one, with the inboard V8s which are beautiful sounding and I think it just makes the boat look really really nice with the uh, with the transom there, the out, no outboards in the way. I like the outboards but they suit different people. So let's jump on board. So here is the platform and the first thing you notice is, have a look Ross, my, uh, I've got Rolling Stones Stock, socks on, can you see them? And um, they're really hot and sweaty, unfortunately. Um, so this is not a high-low platform, but it's, you can, can have an optional step that comes out from underneath and gives you two steps into the water. You've got storage here, which is quite nice, through there, and you've got your shore power, etc. here. Hoods all come here. And it's got an electric hardtop, which is, I think, where's the button for that, Ross? On the side, the button. Oh, it's the hatch. Uh, where's the um, sun, sun hat, this thing, sun hood, that button? Oh, at the helm. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, we won't worry about that then. Right. I've left all this in. Crack That's on. fine. <laughs> so, it's got an electric sun awning that comes out here. You press a button on the screens. Quite a distance. Yeah, it goes out to about here. Yeah. yeah, it goes out quite a long way. So jump on board with me. Right, so this has got this lovely seating area, but this turns into a sunbed. And you just pull this lever here, press that down. And then you pull this lever here. What happens here then? What happens there then? It's got to come up. It's got to come up, what's it? Oh, it makes it into a seat there. Yeah. So you can have it as a seat. Come have a look and test it. Look. So it's lovely seat here that works quite nicely. Or you can have it flat as a sunbed, which I think is quite nice. You've got your standard barbecue appliance, your fridge here, holders and the sink as you'd normally expect. There's storage under these seats here. This is the quick engine hatch here which gets you in to do quick maintenance checks. We won't bother going down there. Um, and there's an electric hatch which opens 
all of the back here to show you the engines. And I did a little video of that which will play on the screen now while I carry on talking. So let's walk up and look at the helm. It may look like I'm sweating, because I am. It's so hot in here. <laughs> it's hot. Right, okay, we've got the double helm seat with a double bolster. Now on some previous sea rays, you could have individual bolsters. This has got the double one, which is handy if you've got a big bum like me. Anyway, we've got a lovely clear glass dashboard. And the difference between this and the 390 is we've got an electric sunroof, which squeaks. Sounds like a foghorn, doesn't it? I think that needs some grease. Remember, this is boat number one, so we'll let them off. But actually, it's a lovely opening and it lets in lovely air. And you've got, I think they call them, I think the factory call them smoking portholes. I don't know if people smoke on boats these days, but anyway. Oh, that one's already open and that one's off. We've got the um, Axis joystick as, you, uh, as an option and you've got the fantastic new Mercury controls, which are unbelievable too. And while we're just here, this boat has got the lovely brown sea deck, which is really, really, really soft underfoot. But I've left the best to last on this boat, and that is the bow seating, which I personally think is similar in size to like a 50 or 55 foot boat. So remember this boat is 37, 38 feet. So you open this big handle here, you pull that, pull that, it's on gas struts. See the massive gas struts down there? And then it clips in there. I think I pull that back, that's in there. But come and look at the bow. Look at the speaker grills. They've got this lovely theme throughout the boat, so it matches the upholstery. Lots of attention to detail. But look at the size of this sunbed. It is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Huge amount of space. And this is where I would spend my time if I was out boating. Just, you know, USB ports, beautiful detailing everywhere. Okay, so come down below and I'll show you the accommodation. You have all this seating around here and you've got more seating all down the sides here, but there is a button which, I can't remember where it is. I think it's here, there it is, yeah. Oh. that makes it into a bed. Those are the teak tables for the cockpit. Um, and then you press this button back. Oh, 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 oh. And there you go, it makes it back into a seat, which I thought was pretty nitty. Now come down. Got a nice galley area here, which is pretty good. You got the standard microwave, fridge. But I love this wall coloring. Look at this wall covering. Beautiful detailing there. And stick your head in there. It's a lovely toilet. Now, is it gonna pass the floss test? Hmm. It only passes the floss test if I've got one foot in the shower and one foot out. I suppose that's a pass. God, it smells lovely. The wood in here smells lovely. Lovely toilet, sink. There's plenty of room and lots and lots of natural light. It's a really good space. Now, if you're one of those sad people that gets on a boat and then likes to watch a telly, then this boat's for you. Because under here is a 32 inch TV. Now, why you'd get on a boat like this in a beautiful lo location like this, or better, and watch the TV is beyond me. But there's lovely windows. Come look at the windows, Ross. Lovely little windows, and you've got another double bed. This turns into another double bed down here, and you've got a cupboard, you've got a little wardrobe, you've got everything. You've got a big sound system, fusion sound system. It's all rather nice. Okay, that's the tour completed. Let's go out on a sea trial. This is 
is um, a hurricane damaged boat. Down there, sea trail. There's some more up here. Let's do a summary for you. Okay, so we have been made to feel so welcome today at the Ciro factory. I'm here with Ross from Marina Marbella and a customer. And we've been made to feel so welcome today. The guys have shown us all around the factories. And while I'm talking now, we're gonna show you some pictures of how the boats are built. But the one thing that has absolutely astounded me today, and we'll show you this on the screen, is the thickness and quality of the GRP and engineering. Uh, we'll show you um, some thickness, we'll show you the guys putting the chop strand mat on and laying out the mat and we're going to show you the stringers. Now some of these stringers are you know a centimetre thick and there's not a metre of the hull that isn't covered with these really really thick strong stringers. The guy cut a speaker grill out earlier on a moulding up here and even that was, I reckon that was eight or nine millimeters thick. Um, the strength of these boats is unbelievable and the people that work here are so passionate about building these boats. They've been, a lot of the guys here have been working, and girls, have been here for 25, 30 years building these boats. And what I'm leaving with today is that these boats are really, really built with pride. And that is quite a rare thing these days. Okay, so I don't do car reviews, but I thought I'd just show you a couple of bits on this Ford that we've hired. It's a Ford F-150 truck. And while we're here, look at that little birdie. Look, should we stroke it? Under the chin, James, under the chin. Under the chin. Oh, oh look. He's gone, right. Okay, so I wanna show you the two bits I like on this truck. The first bit is the gear stick. Can you see the gear stick here? You press a button and it folds down. Now, isn't that utterly useless? But I just thought it was funny. Um, this truck is brand new, and you can tell, do you know how you can tell it's brand new, Ross? No, mate, tell me. Look at the suspension. Look, look under there. It's absolutely brand new. So thank you very much for Hertz for giving us a brand new one. And the last thing I love, Ross, which you, I don't think you knew this, oh, I, I love the pumpkin on the number plate. I hate to tell you. What? I figured that might be oranges with a little bit of blossom in the middle it is it's two oranges 